Oh, cool. So what we're going to do is I want to uh, show you how to graph this by using our slope-intercept form. So rather than giving an equation that's in slope-intercept form, we're just giving the information slope is negative 5 and the y-intercept is negative 7. But we can still go ahead and uh, graph this because we can plug this information into our equation. So we know our slope is negative 5, so we can write y equals negative 5x plus our y-intercept is negative 7. But remember, we need to write this as a value, not as a point. So that's going to be minus 7. So instead of plus a negative 7, we can just write minus 7. All right, so now we need to graph this. And remember, the first thing we need to do when graphing this is to make sure that we start at our y-intercept. So here's my x-axis. Here's my y-axis. So my y-intercept is at negative 7. Remember, that's where the graph crosses the y-axis. So I need to go down to negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All right, then our slope is a negative 5, which again tricks up a lot of students. We don't really need this. Because we've talked about the slope is the change in y over the change in your a change in your y coordinates over the change in your x coordinates. In this case, I have that as negative 5. Well, remember, we need to write this as a fraction. So we can write this as negative 5 over 1. But negative 5 divided by 1 is the exact same thing as 5 over negative 1, which is also equal to negative 5 over 1. So what I'm trying to tell you is think about it this way. If I have negative 5 divided by 1, that still equals negative 5. If I have or negative 5 divided by 1, that still equals negative 5. If I have 5 divided by negative 1, that equals negative 5, which is always the same case. So it doesn't matter if the negative sign is above or below, but that is going to affect our sl or, I'm sorry. That is going to affect our slope triangle, and I'll show you which two will work. So we're already down here, this 5, right? I'm kind of at the below, I'm kind of at the um, bottom of my graph. Now, a lot of times this gets students confused because graphs sometimes only go to like negative 10, positive 10 on the x-axis, negative 10, positive 10 on the y-axis. So in this case, we should <coughs> definitely want to increase it, our, our table, but sometimes that might not be possible for us. So we don't have to be obligated to have to go negative 5, a change in y of negative 5, and a change of x of positive 1. We could also go a change of y of positive 5 and a change of x of negative 1. And I'll show you the example. So we know here's our y-intercept, right? So that's going to be our starting point. Now, um, I could go down negative 5. So if I rewrite my slope, or if I have my slope as change of y is negative 5, that means I need to go down 5 more units. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I could go down 5 more units over 1. So down 5 units over 1. And I can easily, now they have two points, I can connect them. But a lot of times, we just want to make sure go in the, maybe the other direction just to make sure we're OK. So I know that negative 5 over 1 is the same thing as 5 over negative 1. So that means if my change in y is positive 5, that means I'm going to go up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if my change in x is negative 1, that means I'm going to go to the left one. And remember, as long as you have your slope, our slope is constant. So our slope is going to make us go through every single one of our points. But we only need two of them to create a line. So my graph, by connecting these points, um, you can see right there. Now we can see our y-intercept we know is at 0, comma, negative 1. It looks like our x-intercept's at 0, at negative 1, 0, but it's not exactly there. Um, but it's pretty close, and we'll learn how to find that exact value. Uh, coming up to here, you can see that this is a linear equation, so there is going to be no maximum or minimum values. They're going to go up to infinity and down to infinity. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a linear equation. Thanks.